All right, hello and welcome everybody. I see Panicon is here, Skull. And uh, happy Thursday. Doggone it, guys, we just about made it. <laughs> it's almost the weekend. And looking forward to that. The music is just about done as well. We are here in beautiful Minuteman Field, just outside of Boston. And we're participating in the Boston Virtual Regional Circuit featuring Boston, Logan, and Bangor. And uh, we're going to take the Airfoil Lab Cessna 172, the Skyhawk, uh, from Minuteman Field up northeast into Bangor. And then, depending on how we're doing, time permitting, we're going to turn around and try to come back and uh, and bring it all the way down into... to. Uh, Boston, Logan, fly the Skyhawk into Boston. Yeah, hey, Downwind Sim, how are you, man? Is it me or is my are my sounds not working? What's going on? What's going on here? Stand by, everybody. Stand by. What's going on here? It's possible that my... They worked earlier? Okay, I heard mine when you came in. Okay, okay, never mind. I won't panic then. I was just about ready to reconnect and all that good stuff. Somebody, somebody, let's see, hit me up with the sound there. Let me hear it. Hey, speaking of map, here's where we're flying. So we are going to go from, I said from Minuteman Field. We're going to zigzag our way up there. This is some kind of a major highway. I don't remember what exactly it is, but you can see it's a it's a multi-laned highway here. Hey, JPC is here as well. Awesome. Good to have you, Mike. And uh, anyway, we're going to follow that past. Uh, this is Lawrence and then up the coast a little bit here. This is Portsmouth and... Um, we're gonna we're actually gonna kind of get up into the uh, Portland-ish area and make a make a business decision here. We may we might go try to find might go try to find the uh, the eagle's nest out here, which is uh, in this area here somewhere. We'll we'll see we'll see. I, I haven't haven't quite decided yet. Hey, tuba flights here. Ben, how are you, man? Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Let me get this. Oh, you can't see because I've got the map up. Hold on here. All right. Welcome. Skull. Great to see everybody. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can get this baby started. And, again, this has a little bit of a funky startup. So, down with Sim, you remember a while back when we were talking about how this... Um, how this plane is one that... that uh, I may not even use this to be honest. I think I, I think I updated my, I think I updated my, uh, my, my other copy here. But it's it's a it's a plane that starts. You start it with the mixture on idle cutoff, and it. We were both uh, scratching our heads as to why, why the heck that is, because neither one of us had ever heard of any kind of a you know, of a piston aircraft that, that did that. Well, I did find the answer, Downwind Sim, as to why that is, in fact, the correct way to start this aircraft. Um, this aircraft, I didn't realize this, but apparently this aircraft is a fuel-injected aircraft. And now I'm coming at this, and you guys have to understand, I don't nothing, nothing about engines. But apparently with a fuel-injected aircraft, you don't have to introduce the mixture until... The, uh, until the aircraft fires. In fact, if you do, you flood the aircraft. So that was that was explained to me by someone who uh, knows this aircraft quite a bit better than I do, obviously. So anyway, uh, Pentagon's confirming that. Maybe it was you, Pentagon, that told me that. But uh, we're, so we're going to try to fly, or we're going to try to start it by the by the correct procedure tonight <laughs> instead of flooding the heck out of it. Um, so we've got weight and balance are checked. And set. I do have the doors open because this baby will uh, it'll it'll fog up if you if you don't have them set. So uh, or if you if you keep them closed while you're sitting on the ground for too long. Oh, I don't want to do that. Sorry. Don't want the windows open. And no, this is not the fancy new G1000 version of this aircraft. Although I do understand that is 
an exceptional rendition of the Skyhawk. And maybe, maybe, um, maybe it'll be in the, in the, in a future purchase. Who knows? Yeah, apparently, yeah, um, that is, that is, I, I guess what works. The, the person did a really nice job of explaining it to me. And of course it's more than one minute ago, so I have forgotten what what that is okay I, i'm gonna have to open these back up because i'm already starting to mist up a little bit here all right uh let's keep it going here field selectors we're gonna go to to uh to both um uh oh do i what's going on i don't have a i thought i had a uh i had a okay that's uh, set to both yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. All right. All right. Ignition's off avionics. All this stuff is off here. Looks good. All these things are off. Everything's off and ready to go. That looks good there. All right. Master switch can come on. And it's fine. Good. Very good. I don't know. I can't tell you how many batteries I burned out trying to get this plane started one time and uh whoever it was again they came in right at the right time and it was freaking amazing um we will we need to um we'll shut off valve is in so that's open we're gonna go ahead and go um throttle cracked Hopefully we'll get it started. Wait, do I have to do, I may have to, um, this could be a cold engine. So let me do this. Uh, we're going to put the ox fuel tank or the fuel pump on. We're going to go full throttle for just a second. And, ah, no, 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 uh, mixture. Get a little fuel flow. There it was, just for a just for a second. All right, now we'll go throttle cracked and try to get this thing started. Sure enough, fires right up. Mixture goes to full rich, and uh, yeah, amazing how well that works if you understand the aircraft. Apparently, so yeah, uh, ah, who knew, right? Who knew? This is why Totorino, Totorico can charge $115 for his airplane. Because <laughs> there's guys like me that'll buy it because I don't understand. I'm not a smart man. All right. I'm about ready to move, so we'll put the beacon. We got the navs. We'll turn the avionics on here. And let this guy self test. We don't really need him. We'll leave that on nav. We do have a few. Um, a few VORs we can use if we need to. Uh, but, yeah, the main thing we're we're needing now. This guy is one two two. Wait, what is the? Sorry. Well, twenty two eighty initially. So um, and then we'll jump over to yeah. We may pick up flight following. Well, again, we're gonna. Uh, if you were here for the briefing, you know that we're. We're potentially going to pick up flight following, but we're, it's not a guarantee. The Boston Virtual guys, who, by the way, are awesome and uh, very excited to have us here in the event, have asked us to essentially um, kind of kind of judge the amount of traffic that that our guys are are facing, that the controllers are facing before we before we. Were, we request flight following so we really truly we could fly all the way up to Bangor if we wanted and uh, not have to worry about talking to anybody so that's initially uh, where we'll start so I'm gonna I am gonna put in departure one three three decimal zero I, that is uh, who we would talk to I believe if uh, we needed to request flight following so we're just gonna monitor that there we go cool We'll wait until we get going on that, because that'll that'll uh, huh, 
mess me up. Did I spend the money yet? No. No, 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 no. When I saw you were live, I thought there'd be a slim chance I'd be fl flying the Challenger. Well, first of all, it's not even out yet there, Ben. Secondly, you have not gifted me that uh, that Challenger, so there's no way I could fly it. No, <laughs> you have to go to bed soon, <laughs> but it's not because I'm not flying a Challenger. No, I know it's late, buddy. I'm, I know it's late. We'll, we'll talk to you later on. Hey, did you uh, respond to my message on your discord there <clears throat> very interested in figuring out how the heck to uh have good have good ortho or whatever good scenery down in um, australia so if you have a chance take a look i asked you about that and uh, and anybody else who knows for that matter if i, if I was gonna if i was gonna fly overseas you know what would be the best way for me to replace the default uh, scenery, I guess, the default world, because I don't know if necessarily if you have the ability to generate and uh, cook ortho tiles everywhere. I don't know how that works. So that's that's my question for for you, Tuba Flight, or for anybody else. So, uh, man, that challenger is tempting. Yeah, Panacon, it is, it is, and and I guess I I would be more um, like I'd be more interested in it if it was if if like like it was the biz jet that I loved like like it was it was that one I was looking forward to you know so much that uh, yeah you know but it's just it's a it's an intriguing excuse me it's an intriguing airplane no question about it but um, it's definitely not a must buy for me which is probably a good thing for my bank account <laughs> 20 two nine or nine or four is uh, where I'm at roughly this is the Boston ATIS but I think it's gonna get it get me pretty close about 275 feet I'm just gonna double check that with the sectional here 225 is what the sectional is saying but that's within 50 feet that's that's gonna be okay <clears throat> but uh, yeah watching continuum have fun with it last night was uh, was cool to see and and we knew he would you know he does a good job he's of course a real world pilot and and does a really nice job putting a plane through its paces and uh, so that was that was fun but um but yeah i i yeah well, now if it was seventy dollars if it was like the same price as the tbm be a little harder for me to uh, to resist to be totally honest but he's he's priced it out there where um, yeah, where I'm not, I'm not going to be able to be a, a, a first day buyer. Just a couple of little checks here while we're, before we take off while the engine warms up. I get the generators on yes I did everything else I think is on here and we're gonna taxi down to our right and depart um, could depart let's see we actually have a couple of options we could depart problem is no METAR right here but the winds around are fairly calm four knots to the east six knots to the west and generally from the west well uh, yeah northwest so um, I was thinking about heading on down to runway three but what I might do I might just take I might just actually hang a hang a left here and go down to the intersection I think I'm going to I think I'm going to go down here to runway 3 and use runway 3. You can see the windsock is pretty it's, it's actually it's actually favoring a uh, maybe a 30. So maybe what I'll do, I'm going to change my mind is back taxi runway 30 and uh, we'll we'll take off. I'm going to I'm going to get <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to get up on the on the cement here before I do my my run up. I might be dropping out too. All my views got screwed up for some reason. They're all everything's tilted. Oh man, sorry about that. Hopefully you can get that uh, fixed up quick, dude. I don't know why. I'm gonna have to make some look at some forms. I have no idea what to do. Everything. Flight Simmer X plane. 
my X play and everything got tilted. I mean, I loaded up. I don't know what the heck happened. It was fine. Oh. Huh. That's weird. I can't get everything. Even if I push W, I mean, it, it's like everything's tilted. Oh, yeah, that's weird. Check your uh, check your settings. Go into your settings, display settings, and uh, I think it's reset visual offsets or something like that. Might help you out. All right, I'll check it out. I'm loading at a different airport. Let's see if that helps. I don't know. I loaded different planes, too, and the same thing. Every freaking plane. All right, it's let's... It's really strange because I haven't had that issue, and I'm using X-Plane for, like, the first time in a month. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, let's do a quick run up here. Actually, the first thing I need to do is... Oh, I got my window shut. Okay. I'll right, buzz this up here. 17. Let's do a mag check. I even restarted my computer and everything. Drop. Yeah, it gotta be got to be some kind of a display setting that got bumped or something. Yeah, those are good. Alright, free and correct. Thank you, MAMPs. All good. Temperatures are good. Feels good. Everything here looks good. Um, yeah, I think we're ready. This must be... I'm kind of looking at this here. And... Like... Uh, like, I feel like this is... Who said that before? Where is there? I don't see the setting. It says reset. I I didn't I say it, but yeah, things. it sounds like it was under graphics or something, but I I don't remember. So I'm kind of looking at this, going, okay, there we go. It's a dirt runway, but it's got like. Uh, does that mean this is closed? Are we working on it? What What are we doing here, guys? What do you think? Kind of looks like maybe it's uh, under construction, but you know what? A lot of people having issues with their sim tonight. And I don't know if I can get airborne by then. All right, I guess we're just going to have to go a little crosswind. I've never departed actually out of, off of that dirt runway, that cro that little uh, crosswind runway. It's only a 600 foot long runway, so I don't even know if I could get airborne in this uh, in this bird. All right. Okay, back to let me just uh, let me just check here, make sure I haven't missed anything. So even if you were to um, reset your like view, like your view button, I'm sure the ROI will be limited yeah. on that Challenger. The little bit I saw was uh, tons of programming. Even if I like move my hat, switch up and down, it, it doesn't even go like straight up and down. It like goes at like an angle. Oh man, that hmm. stinks. You don't have uh, in view up there. You don't have lock geographically on or anything like that. No, I mean nothing's changed since yesterday. That's wild. All right, let me make a let me make a call and we will get started. We're gonna initially get out of here at a on a about a zero five eight heading. So let me set that so I don't forget about real quick it. quick in the Discord. I go there, and we're going to go up to 3,500, and I think I can. I'm going to I'm going to hand fly this mostly, but we'll set that just to, just to half. Uh, and then I need. No, you can uh, in this channel right here in the uh, events channel. Just uh, share stream X Plane 11 in Discord here. How do I do that? It's the little at the bottom or on the Discord. You should see X Plane 11. Above where it says voice connected, and there's a little okay, TV looking thing. Okay, Squawk Charlie. Uh, right At Minuteman Field, uh, November 11816 is departing runway 3. Will be a uh, straight out northeast bound departure, Minuteman Field. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, yeah, it is slanted slightly to the right. I see that. Yeah, no matter what I do. So we have to do just a uh, little bit strange. of a back See, taxi I here. My hat, trip, my hat switch it just doesn't, it doesn't even freaking go. Uh... Nobody coming, when you nobody take, on if you final. If you take your parking brake off and actually physically move the airplane, what do you think it would spring back? Let's see. 
I'd have to start it up. Yeah, fire it up. We'll see. I think I was supposed to go the other way to kind of turn around here, but that's okay. All right, let's... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> I got an issue here. My... My... Uh... My rudder pedals are too close to my desk, and I can't get all the way around on my... <laughs> to get my toe brake down. I'm going to have to change the... Or, uh, make a quick adjustment here, guys. Yeah, it didn't, that didn't work so good. All right. Stand by. <laughs> let, me, let me pull the brake and try that again. Give me one second. Oh, there we go. That probably means I'm going to have to reset my track IR here as well. Maybe, 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 baby. Yeah, my my rudder pedal scooted up. I've got this little cross piece that goes in my desk, and I, I can't push my toe brake down, so I couldn't... I couldn't do the old uh, differential braking and pivot that baby around, but. Alright, so here we go. We're going to depart. It's actually a crosswind departure, isn't it, here, guys? Left crosswind. If, I, uh, if I'm being honest here. Set them all to zero? Yeah, I'd set them all to zero. Oh, Chandler is the what doesn't that guy know? All right, I can load it back up in Boston now. Don't ask my wife; she'll tell you. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. That's awesome. Okay, feeling that feeling that crosswind just a little bit, no doubt about that. We're rolling. My whole night, I swear, I was looking all depressed. Spinning up and up we go. There we go. Pitching for uh, about ninety. Uh, if you want to get your wife on, we'll sing your praises for a while if you'd like. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and start making the turn here. I need to reset my track IR. But he's out that way. Okay, so what we're looking for here initially, guys, and I apologize, this is going to be a, a fairly... Uh, like, I'm going to have to really look around quite a bit here. I'm going to try to find this, this two-lane road. or I, Actually, it's a split highway, so it's probably four lanes. No doubt about it, man. It's like my whole life was over. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. I'm going to... I got to do this. I'm, now I'm... I backed up like six inches. Oh, gosh. And yeah, maybe I'm okay. All right. We're on the climb out. Should have pulled the flaps up a little while ago, but I didn't. Going up to 3,500. We're on a... Zero about zero five eight and looking for looking for the um, there's actually a, a pretty good uh, major intersection between two divided highways so we're we're gonna keep looking around I, I see one right there that could very well be the one that we're that's going the other way but I don't see the the one that runs more north south. A firm. Go ahead. Oh, that was you, Chandler, that helped me right now. Chandler's the man. Maybe. <laughs> but that okay? Yeah, maybe. He's so humble. I love that guy. All right. I'll have to, I'll have to private message me your. Uh, email <laughs> hey, I tell you what. There's a lot of people that help out a lot of people in this community, and uh, there's a, many of them are on this stream right here. But that's so nice to be able to, because I'm I'm one of those guys that has no idea. Like when something breaks, I'm like, oh, I don't know. And down one seems like, uh, have you tried to turn the power on on your monitor? Oh, that's it. 
hey, point three four is here. Did I uh, plant a tack in? Uh, oh, did I plant a track IR in Rob's curtains or something to mess with? Yeah, right. I don't know what happened, but that was not it was not going like he wanted it to for sure. All right, so I purposely picked a high wing to try to find this road and attempt to fly it. About to 3,500, that's where we're going to level off. And I'm not yet seeing anything, so um, there's a lake. I do have a few bodies of water, and I do have a few airstrips that I've also... Um, put as uh, as waypoints so we might we might take a look at those by the way point three four great to see you welcome everybody happy thursday there's three thousand five hundred actually blew past that just a smidge getting this nose down might help me out a little bit also because i might be able to see over a little bit I got the track ir so i can get up on the phone book a little bit here you know what i mean Tuba flight, so I might try to generate some ortho uh, next time you're... So you don't use anything, you just kind of have the default um, scenery then, huh? Okay. I just didn't know. I mean, I, I, uh, I've i become kind of a scenery uh, snob, to be honest with you. And I'm like, what? Me? Use default common scenery? <laughs> Preposterous. I must have more ortho. I must have V-states. Yeah. Well, let me know what uh, settings you use, because I might try to to do a little little ortho cooking. Same thing with with the um, like uh, United Kingdom. I'd like to get some stuff up there. I actually have some airports over there. I I didn't realize. I was just kind of looking around at my airports the other day. There's an airport right there. Speaking of. And I noticed that I had a little a little bit of that. All right, what would that... Is this... Uh, if this is a... Yeah, it looks to me like this could be the Lawrence Airport. And if that's the case, let me... Um, my uh, my two-lane road ought to be running right by Lawrence. And Lawrence is a... Lawrence is a Delta, so I have to be at 2,600 or more, which I am. I'm at uh, a little over 3,500. And I would say, again, Lawrence, it looks to me like it has two runways that are oriented like that. Yep, and I think I maybe even see our, there's our, uh, there's our major highway, guys. Look, kids, Big Ben, Parliament. Okay, we're on our way. And for some reason, we're doing 140 knots, which, uh, hey, that's cool and all, but, like, I don't, I don't quite need to go that fast. I picked the Skyhawk for a reason. So we can look around. But, uh, yeah, let me know, guys. Again, in chat, if you have any success with uh, any kind of, of ortho-type scenery, it doesn't have to be ortho, but if there's a, like, if there's a special, like, V-States type of mesh for the United Kingdom area, or, I mean, even if it's uh, Australia, wherever, Norway let me know because I I'm interested seeing as I'm going to save $114 on a challenger I, I figure I might as well uh, invest in some some more um, hard drive space or something the Qantas link airline flies to some crazy oh yeah I um, I found a <laughs> I found something cool. I found out that that Orbix has a free um, livery pack for the uh, for the Q, not the Q, sorry, for the CRJ 700. So that was awesome. But um, but yeah, that that Dash 8 is is would be a lot of fun to fly over there. Absolutely no question about it. If you don't want Orbix, True Earth, Great Britain, you should use Simhaven, X Europe. Okay, thank you for the recommendation. I'm going to... I'm going to put that in a tab and check it out here. 
Ooh, Simhaven 5.4, 5.5, 5.6. Ooh, it's been up, updated a lot. A lot. I like it a lot. Uh, do you um, have a have a preference, Ben? I mean, it, is one better than the other? Point three four, not to be back seat driver, but uh, my Meg, the peep at my Meg Compass. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. You know, Tim. Thank you for being a backseat pilot. Look at look at this. I'm going uh, the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Yowza, yowza, yowza. So guess what, guys? Guess who's going to have to use some VR navigation to um, reorient himself with the world? Sky. Yeah, I need a compass command. Okay, so. Yeah, and I should have known. Look at where my flipping heading bug is. So let's do this. I know I'm above all the uh, airspace restrictions, so that's the one good thing. 2,600 or above is where I need it to be, so I am there. Let's get going back on our 058 and. Let's see if we can get our bearings here. Actually, this is a good this is a good exercise because I find myself turned around from time to time. And how do you get yourself back where you're going if you're flying VFR? And you, I mean, obviously, I could put in Bangor right here and just fly it, right? But uh, where's the fun in that? So I think what I need to do here is um is uh pick the right VFR sectional and how about we tune like uh if we're going toward Kennebunk I think we're in pretty good shape for the most part so 117 decimal 1 let's get that tuned in here See if we're picking it up. I guess we may not be picking it up quite yet. All right, we are. We are. So, um, where are we at in relation to the uh, Kinnebunk VOR? We would need to fly. Ah, actually, we're not too far off course. All things considered, about a zero. 6.2 would get us there. So, um, what I'm what I'm surmising here, and I think I'm safe to say this is I, and I'm way to the north and west. Well, not way to the north, but way to the west of the course that I currently want to be on. So, the the one thing that I don't really want to do is overcorrect back to the east because that'll take me uh, directly into the Boston airspace which again I'm at 3,500 so I technically would be below the Bravo so that I'm not worried about that per se but um, I don't want to get too much closer to the Bravo if I can help it um, but it's gonna make it tricky to pick up the it's gonna make it tricky to pick up that multi-lane highway so here's here's what I'm gonna do Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna just I'm gonna point myself on about a uh, on about a zero five zero and um, I'm sorry zero seven zero maybe uh, yeah about zero seven zero and I'm just gonna fly this this course until either I pick up that four lane road and there's actually two of them there's one that runs kind of on this northeasterly uh, direction and it could just be you know just a few miles that way we weren't luckily 0.34 caught our mistake quickly but um, or there's another one that comes out of Boston which is more north and south and they actually kind of come together at a little spot called Lake Gardner which is uh, one of my VFR waypoints now if none of those work 
then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run into a little body of water called the Atlantic Ocean, and I'm going to follow that northbound, and that'll, that'll get us kind of where we need to go. We should be able to recognize towns like Portsmouth or um, Knox County or uh, Portland is up there as well. So we'll get there. We'll get there one way or another. I think Good Fixins has checked in there. Hey, how are you, man? A typical wrong way. That's correct. That is correct. Great to see you guys. Great to see my route tonight. Um, hey, I think I actually updated it here. Let me see. Yeah, Minuteman Field, 6 Bravo 6 to Bangor, Kilo Bravo Golf R Romeo. And uh, with maybe a slight detour to the west, you know, just just because. So where do you guys think I ended up? If I went west, I came out of uh, Minuteman, and instead of going northeast, I went northwest. I where, what do you think? I Did I end up here by uh, Flitchburg, maybe? There was that road that was kind of, there's a, Flitchburg is, nope, Flitchburg's not a, I must have ended up maybe up here by uh, Manchester, which if I was at Manchester, I'd totally busted that Charlie. Oh my gosh, did I bust that Charlie? Whoops. Eh, ah, and Manchester has, does Manchester, oh, Manchester has approach. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I totally a hundred percent i should have been listening to manchester they're probably they're probably uh cussing me out wow that was bad guys that was bad oh you think it's fitchburg i don't think so does tuba flight tell me yeah but that's kind of cheating Belanta, i mean that's kind of cheating we'll look at it afterwards i actually i honestly don't want to look at it right now because i'm feeling really really bad about myself <laughs> And I'm I'm almost 100% sure now that that was Manchester. Yikes. Yikes. Ben, you might as well just hang out, dude. I mean, what's another, you know, another, uh, what's another two hours before bedtime, right? All right, let's let's start listening to Boston again. I should I should. Manchester approaches is, is twenty four ninety. Let's let's tune him in. But wait a second, twenty four ninety. Yeah, I got some idiot in the Skyhawk. It's not talking to me. Uh, would it help to call him and apologize? Or do I just get out of here before he alerts the authorities? You could probably send Kenny Monster up to uh, escort me down. Approach Skyhawk November 4 5, Whiskey Golf. I'm looking for IFR. Please over to Portsmouth. Yeah, November 8 1, Romeo Delta contact Portland approach 1 2, correction 119.75. Decisions RB10, let 200D, SR22. It's a tough call. I would vote. I'd vote for the uh, for the Rands, man. RV10, channel your inner flight shops. Didn't he build an RV10? Hey, there's Iowa Scotsman. Welcome, my friend. Departure, 
Skull. Happy Thursday. I hope you are doing great. Greatly appreciate you coming by. Excuse me while I wander around here. Just about have it trimmed out for level flight. Can't say the same for straight, but... There we go. So if you're just joining, first of all, welcome. Happy Thursday. We are doing an event. It's a crossover event. We are flying with the Virtual USA Flying Club and also pairing up, teaming up with the Boston Virtual ARTCC for their regional circuit. They're featuring Boston International Airport and Bangor International Airport. Iowa Scotsman still fighting off a bug. Oh, man. Okay. Fixie's going to go from Concord up to Bangor. Very good choice. Very good choice. And uh, my, my goal, my plan, depending on time here, because I do have to work tomorrow. I'd love to stay up all night long and fly the Skyhawk, but my plan is to... Um, get up to Bangor and make a quick turnaround and try to actually fly back VFR to Boston Logan and see if, see if they'll squeeze us in amongst uh, the big heavies. Now, let me check one thing here. So, let's put the Bangor BOR in there. That is hard to find. 114.8. That's probably not going to give me a DME up in number one, is it? No. Alright, can I put in... 1710. Let's uh, let's get that guy tracking Kennebunk. Let's get let's see if we can pick up. Maybe we can't quite yet. 1480. I want to see if I can get a little bit of a distance measure. Yeah, not quite yet. It's it's out of reach here. Although the DME is telling me about 136. I, I want that so I know roughly when to check in. To uh, to get clearance to uh, to enter the Bravo. Or sorry, it's a Charlie up there to enter the Charlie. Gonna stay away from flight following for this leg just because uh, in listening to the to the Boston guys, I think they're plenty busy. So um, we'll kind of hang out here and just you know, just see the sights, chit chat with you guys like we always do. If your little plane can't, they land you on your own special runway 33 right south of freight. Yeah, um, 33 uh, left, isn't it left? What I really want to land on, I've never ever done it at uh, Boston, is that little tiny short, like a 1-4 left or whatever that guy is. Hey, Boston First, Care 279, 7, but yeah, that's generally what they do for you. Ben is, uh, move you off to that... Uh, that left-hand side there. Exactly right. Hey, Ralph. Uh, Ralph, USM... Uh, US, sorry. USMCG? Welcome, first of all. You're also flying Concorde to Banker. That's way cool, dude. Yeah, they have too many runways. Yeah, it's like... It's like no consistent prevailing wind, right? It just depends on... Or is it 32? Which everyone forgets is there? Yeah. I'm talking about the one... I think Ben's talking about the one also that's clear on the south end. Let me pull up the chart here and see if I can confirm. 
Yeah, so I've landed several times down here on 3-2. That's the one I was thinking of. I think Ben maybe was thinking of 3-3 right. That's the one I've never landed or departed on. I would love that. That would be really, really cool. I don't know what... So what's your ATIS say here? Ooh, they are departing. 3-3 three, three left. I wonder if they would... Uh, what if they'd give me 3-3 three, three right just on request? I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Um, they're landing on runway 27, so that kind of that kind of puts you in the way. I bet I bet they'd give you 3-2 before they'd give you 3-3 three, three right. So, yeah. I don't know. 3-3 three, three right is, uh, is the Cape Air. Oh, really? I didn't realize that. I did not realize. That's the only, air, um, the only runway, like I say, in... Uh, at Boston, I've never landed on. If uh, when we're in Bangor, stop for lobster rolls. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I think we need to. All right, here's a nice little, little waterway. Can I? Is there? Is it possible for me to look and see? Um, have I picked up something like uh, potentially? Are we here by kind of getting by a little brook maybe? But to track IR. That's a pretty distinctive little waterway. There's a little airport. Two runway configuration. Uh, could that be? Let me let me see what I'm. Let me see what I see here. Um. No. Whoops. Still not totally sure. Departure five whiskey golf uh, ready for taxi. I don't think that's quite uh, Portland. Yes, it could be. Be a uh, pretty good uh, metro we're area. Uh, west of, um, I, I think I'm right on Echo to be honest with you. Uh, if you give me a minute, I'll let you know. That's five whiskey golf. That's Anybody that's recognize that's this that's town? Here on the, the sort of top-down view, I get uh, runway six taxi via Echo. But I don't see I don't see Portland next to any kind of major major riverway. No, I don't know. Yeah, we're again we're just about to the east coast, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start turning back to the uh, to the northeast here. Have an airport there? Nope, that's just a. Uh, ooh, we might be back on our on our two laned highway though, or our split highway. Hard to tell. Super hard to tell. Okay, so let's um, let's bring this guy around. Let's see where we're at. Need to be about zero four zero to go to Bang or to uh, Canabuck. So we're about on that, honestly. So, gosh, maybe that was uh, maybe that was Sanford Seacoast Regional. How far away from Kinnebunk, I wonder, are we? I don't think I have a DME for that, do I? It's, I think the only DME I've got in this bird is right there. So. Do I have... Oh, let me flip over. How far am I to... Uh, oh, I take that back. It's not a DME to... I have no idea what this is tracking then. Something I have already set in the frequency, maybe. Um, or, um... I could have swore I had a DME in this thing. I do. It's right down there. Okay, let me... Can I do... Can I do one thing? Can you... Bear with me for just a second here, guys. I'm all over the place. Okay, heading mode, altitude mode. I just not climb anymore if we can help it. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I want to go oh, 1710. I want to just see where I'm at here. Okay. Uh, 17. Ten. So I am 
40 miles in closing. Okay, so that wasn't Sanford Seacoast, because <laughs> Sanford Seacoast is like within about two miles of the BOR. So, now why am I not on heading mode? Can I get on heading mode, please, like I asked? Uh, so let's um, let's make our best guess here, then. Hmm. Keep following that highway and I'll be good. Bang uh, left on 95 when you get there. Now you're really back. Oh, hey, if you know the area there, Tim, hey, I'm down with it. But I am trying to find where the heck I'm at. So let's, let me see if I can figure this out with your help. So here's Kennebunk. That's what we're trying to, that's what we're tracking. We're using as a DME. So we are, you know, we're a good, still 40 miles away. Just passed over a, maybe we just passed over Lawrence. Um, there's that river. Was that the Lawrence River that we saw? So yeah, we're, I would I would guess we're kind of right in this area here. Hey, we could go say hi to our friends down Plum Island. We've been down there a few times. Okay, yeah, I think I know where we're at. And then, uh, yeah, I would say it's a pretty, yep, 0.34 is thinking the same thing. All right, cool. So the Lawrence River, All right, very cool, very nice, very nice. Ooh, I'm 4,500. Let's uh, let's come back down. Coming off of autopilot here. Trim out, please. Trim out. I thought I had uh, engaged altitude hold, but apparently not. Autopilot off. There we go. Let's start coming down a little bit here, please. So there, that, this must be, this, oh, hey, hello. This road here at 12 o'clock might be the one we're trying to follow. I'm definitely not seeing really any other um, divided highways here. So, boy, we keep climbing. Holy moly. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Finally got X-Plane restarted. Just about to take off from Plum Island. Hey, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, well, you'll definitely uh, you'll catch up to us in a hurry. November 5, Whiskey Golf Radar contact. Say altitude. You will catch us in a blink of an eye. Yeah, man, it's just tough with this event. It is fun trying to sneak a small plane out of uh, out of Logan, though. All right. Well, I think we've kind of got ourselves back on track, and that spice is 37 sitting on the ground. Holy moly! And I bet 35 of the 37 are the level up 737s. <laughs> In fact, I'm kind of proud of myself. Most of you don't realize, but I. As much as I have a weak spot for uh, for Cessna 150s, I hear it's a, a lot prettier than Zevo, but the controls are a little wonky. But the other aircraft that I maybe am more a sucker for is the 737. I have flown the Zebo. I like the Zebo. Um, and, uh, but this level up kind of has me intrigued because it reminds me a little bit more of the PMD G737, which is the very, very first add-on aircraft I ever bought for any sim. Um, Senior Llama 93 is their better detail and explain. What do you, what do you mean by that, sir? Certainly you don't mean scenery because the scenery doesn't look as good. 
in X-Plane. With, with uh, ortho scenery, you can make it look pretty good, but it's definitely not as good as Microsoft Flight, Flight uh, Sim. But the aircraft level of detail is, yes, much better there. Welcome. Hey, Cargo Fire. And about the departure, you have said that you request taxi. Just walked in chat, and Mel's going to level up. No, I just was talking about it honestly did. Um, it caught my eye a little bit more than I thought because it doesn't fit my stream motif, right? It's not general aviation. It's not vintage airliner, but that's the one airplane, the one modern airplane that I, I have a soft spot for. Energy Magic said I like the, says I like to level up a lot. Some of my flights got ruined because of the bugs it has, though. So it needs... It needs a little, uh, it needs a hot fix, maybe. Is that what you guys are telling me? It needs just a little bit of, uh, it needs a version 1.1. One. over and done, Bangor. And I'm still not feeling great, so I'm going to bounce. You guys have a good night. We'll see you, Mike. Thank you so much for showing up. Get well soon, dude. Have a good night. Feel better. Thank you. On Microsoft, uh, the local airports look like crap. Crazy. And in well, 2D on FSX, it's all correct. Uh, it does have a few quirks, Cargo Fire says, but uh, enough to make it different from the Zebo. Yeah, and I did see you uh, flying that the other day, Cargo. By the way, I tried to have the Junior First Officer make a sound for you. I tried to get him to say C -c -c Cargo, but, uh, well, he's four. He choked under pressure. Senior Lama, my local airport is KYNG and KPIT. Yeah. So what I would say, Senior Lama, is that the default X-plane airports are not not real great. I mean, they're probably not even as good as the default Microsoft Flight Sim airports. The thing about the de default Microsoft Sim Flight Sim airports is I think everything looks like a an apartment building. <laughs> Like, like you're like a dormitory on a college campus. Like that's what all the buildings look like. And in X plane, at least they try to give you like a couple of fake hangers and stuff like that. But um, well, we're gonna fly into uh, a defaults. Actually, no, I think I might have a, a slightly upgraded freeware Bangor. All right, we're flying past a pretty good airport there, though, you guys. We better. Check the map. Where do, what do we think? We're about 25 miles south of Kennebunk. Kennebunk VOR. So that could potentially be Portsmouth. I think right there. Guys, so we're making our way. Yeah, I think so. Because it's got that nice little... Uh, this is the Great Bay National Refuge. Yeah, alright. Very good. So... Yeah, so default's default, I guess, at the end of the day. I mean, I think people initially, when um, Microsoft Flight Sim came out, they were they were pretty jacked up about how it looked overall, that they sort of overlooked the fact that, that the default airports are um, not great. I mean, right? They don't even have the uh, they don't even have the taxiway markings correct. So. Um, so yeah, it's give and take. But the default airports, it's it's auto gen, right? It's uh, you have to if you want an airport that looks good, you have to go to either the org forums or flightsim.to, and you just have to download something that somebody's worked on. Yeah, so hopefully they have something there for Pittsburgh or uh, YNG. I don't, I guess I don't even know, but. Um, in Microsoft Flight Sim, the Washington Monument is a skyscraper. <laughs> yeah, surely somebody's done some some scenery work in that uh, that airport or and or city. I would think, maybe not. Well, Energy Magic, Cargo Fire, don't be um, don't be surprised if I do end up with the level up here at. Uh, at some oh at some time oh you met KPIT the whole time uh, K oh oh no 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 I'm sorry Pittsburgh yes YNG no gotcha have I ever flown Microsoft Flight Sim yeah we uh, we alternate back and forth between X Plane and Microsoft Flight Sim 
So back to starting next week, I've got a little bit of an alteration to the uh, the streaming schedule, guys. I want to bounce off of you. So an energy magic. Thank you so much. Appreciate the follow, Skull. Thank you, thank you. Great to have another friend along. JPC tossing out the link to the virtual USA Flying Club. And uh, this is the... I think this is the fourth or fifth event we... No, no, no. Take it back. This is the first event for January. I keep forgetting we're not in December anymore. But um, if you're if you're new here, the Virtual USA Flying Club, a really, really great uh, general aviation themed bat sim flying club, and we host uh, three to four events ourselves per month, and then uh, a lot of times we'll team up with other bat sim events like we're doing tonight. So, if you uh, if you enjoy GA flying and you like to have organized events with other pilots flying along with you, uh, many times uh, with some controlled uh, or in controlled airspace, then um, come check us out. Check, click on that link, head on over there, and one of our uh, one of our admin will take a look at your application it's it's a pretty short process to be approved you have to be a VAT sim member in good standing and uh, if you are those two things and you're more more than likely you're gonna be you're gonna be approved oh we did have a few clouds pop in here I thought we'd have some energy magic can't wait for X plane 12 hopefully they have the scenery and the planes yeah so you know the all indications is that the uh, the aircraft are gonna be you know, whatever you have an X point 11 is going to come over and and work if not right away fairly quickly um, I do know that they are really planning on doing some work on their default airplanes as well to make them you know maybe a little bit uh, nicer than the ones that you that you have an X plane 11 the ones in X plane 11 though aren't bad really I mean if we're being honest there's quite a few of those that are that are in good shape, but uh, anyway, I think you know that's just going to be that next that next generation, right? Like they like they talk about cargo fire. I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward to a a level up flight myself. I'm, I'm I think I'm going to bite that bite that off maybe this this weekend and. Give her a download and see if I can remember all my <laughs> all my flows from the PMDG slash Zebo days. It's literally been maybe two years since I've flown in a uh, in a, anything higher than a 737-200. <laughs> in a box man. Hello, in a box man. Nice to see you. Appreciate that. Man, I tell you what, I'm just about out of, uh, just about out of ale horn. Beverage, but welcome. The 7-3 can still be flown slant golf or slant whiskey. Oh, okay, the NG, yeah. Well, and I, you know, cargo fire, I don't mind. I don't mind flying something a little more modern from time to time. I mean, uh, the... The A300 obviously is uh, one you can fly. It's fun to stay current and and somewhat proficient with the RNAV stuff as well. So, um, and plus it kind of takes me back. Like I said, the first, the, the very very first add-on aircraft I bought when I was in FSX because there was really no add-on air, airplanes worth buying before FSX days. Um, was the PMDG 737? Like every smart simmer pilot, right? Let's let's let our first airplane that we learn be one of the most complicated ones in the game. But um, anyway, so that was uh, I flew the I flew the paint off that sucker and might be kind of fun from a from a nostalgia standpoint just to hop back in. 
We shall see. We shall see. All right, how are we doing here, guys? How are we doing? I think we're doing good. I think the next, um, the next airport that we're going to see here is we might have already passed it, Little Brook Airport, little uh, single strip. May already be passed it. It was just kind of tucked off of the of the uh, Portsmouth Delta there. I think we might already be by it. And and we're actually kind of getting up to the uh, to the point here pretty soon. But we got Portland coming up here, I guess. The Manchester Airport Information Lima Current Altimeter two nine or nine or two. Let's have a you know what? Let's have a listen to uh, to Boston Center right here. Thirty four seventy, I think. Thirty four. What are they? Oh, thirty three forty five. Just out of curiosity. This might be too busy for us to chat. Also, I'm just curious how busy these guys are. It was GPS ten fifty two channel heading three six zero back to sequencing. Uh, but anyway, when we get past uh, yeah, Kennebunk, Kennebunk's only 10 miles, about another uh, about another 10 miles to Portland, and we're getting close to a place called Booth Bay Harbor, and at Booth Bay Harbor we have a little airport that we like to frequent every once in a while called the the heron's nest any interest to see if i can land the skyhawk out there at the heron's nest let me know i can keep going or i can go try to find it we can try to make a landing somebody was trying to talk Sorry, was uh, somebody asking a question in the Discord? Hey, I was saying, what is this heron's nest? Ah, the heron's nest. Uh, it's a little private, uh, private island airstrip that's just uh, just east of Knox County out here. It's a fantastic little airport. I love that one. love that place. It, it's a fun one, no doubt about it. I I don't know if the scenery is still available for you know it used to be available for uh, as a freeware from the uh, I Blue Yonder guys, um, but I last time I checked the link it was it was no longer active, but it, it's out there somewhere. I just I can't remember where, but absolutely well worth it it's got a little uh, seaplane base and a little uh, dirt runway that that uh, cuts across the island it's really really cool it's a fictitious it's not a real life airstrip but it's a lot of fun does anybody in the chat have a link could you research do a quick uh, quick search for heron's nest and again, the uh, the developer, the initial developer was I Blue Yonder. Uh, so the letter I, and then Blue Yonder. I would be willing to go out and try to find it. If every every time I fly out there, Bill Womack is the guy. That's right, Fixie. But but the I don't know if it just stopped being supported or if it. You know, because it was like an X-plane, well, it was, at first it was an FSX, P3D airport, and then I think Bill brought it over to X-plane, but I think it was like early, like X-plane, you know, 11.1 .1 or something like that, and I, I don't know if it maybe just got to the point, like, it still looks good when I have gone out there, but... Um, Haven't heard. I really haven't heard anybody say they wanna wanna see it. There we go. There's it. There's maybe the. It's maybe the one you need. Yeah. There we go. Free. Get it now. Yeah. Cool. 
So um, it, it's just one of those goofy little, I don't even know how I found it, but Pentagon finally picked up uh, Omaha from Vertical Sim. Very good, very good. And point three four. It's gonna go download that sucker. Yeah, it's it's. I'll, so I'll sh I'll show you guys. What the heck? We'll go try to find it. We'll go try to find it. The first thing that I have to do is remember where the heck it's at. So info screen. So what I always did is I worked off of um, like uh, Brunswick and Wiscasset and Knox can it's all the, it's in this area then so you have to find Booth Bay Harbor which is right in here okay and then you come out here and it's located in this little island chain somewhere and again it's not a uh, not a real airport so you uh, like it's not marked so you just kind of have to head out here and and look around basically and it's one of these guys out here somewhere um, I don't I don't remember exactly where but we'll go out and take a look and see if we can locate it. I think most of you have seen me fly out there a few times. So I've landed, just just for reference, I've landed everything from, you know, the beaver, which obviously should be in there. Um, I have brought in the... Uh, the uh, BN2, the Islander. That was fun. That was a fun one. And I even managed, uh, the last time I flew in P3D, I even managed to land the Beach Duke 60 there, which was uh, a miracle. So I should be able to get the, the Skyhawk in there. Now, can I get it out of there? That's that's another another question. But yeah, we'll give it a we'll give it a look see. So we're just about Again, just about to the Kennebuck BOR. We'll keep going up the coastline, and uh, we'll try to find Portland. And if we can find Portland, we'll just keep heading northeast, and we'll see if we can find the New Brunswick Executive Airport. And then uh, we'll just—it's just south off of New Brunswick, out there somewhere. It's just like you can see all these little, little uh, atolls, and it's just one of those happens to have an airstrip cut out of it. Four seven, sorry, four six one four. Four six one four. Pilot Club eight ninety nine. Pilot Club six. Turn, if we do that, uh, then that probably zero, means that. That uh, Bangor will be the the final departure of the night. Point three four is cooking up ninety five behind. November four four Papa Tango cross Newby at five thousand clear to Arnav on six approach. Cross Newby at five thousand clear to Arnav. I've got the um, I've got the lights fully blaring here, so hopefully you can you can locate me locate me. Via the ocean five oh, yeah. Two Tell you what, I'm tired. It's been a long week. Right, we'll via ocean Good week, but a long one. Uh, Alright, we we are past Kennebuck. So we should... Oh, uh, hey, hello. Should have... And start counting these little uh, these little inlets here and probably get a sense of where the heck I'm at. But Looking for Portland next and New Brunswick. All right, what's this little? I feel like we should have Portland just right out here somewhere, not too far away. I 
might be right over there, honestly. Quite seen it though. We'll just keep hanging on the coastline here and we'll come across it eventually. Something tells me that's an expensive, like an expensive uh, swath of beachfront property. <laughs> Bet it is stinking cold in the winter time. All right, Portland, where are you? Or for art thou? Sheed or Shed? How do you how do you pronounce his name? I lean towards Sheed, but I I could have swore I heard himself refer to him as Shed the other day. It really threw me for a loop. That's kind of what I thought, right? Sheed. I said when he signed off the other day, I could have swore he said Shed, but eh. He's also the kind of guy that likes to just mess with you. I'm sure you guys have all been a part of uh, those those nights when he works in cat references to every one of his calls. Climbing Meowtane, 340, that kind of stuff. It's just dead pans. It's hilarious. Okay, I have no idea where we are. I'm not there. Is okay. There's Portland. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do is this: we're going to keep flying out here um, toward these islands, and because we are approaching, we're not quite there yet, but we're approaching Booth Bay Harbor. I've lost Booth Bay Harbor. But we'll have, coming up on our left, we'll have uh, Brunswick, and that'll be, uh, that'll be kind of our... Uh, kind of our hit that we're getting close. I may not make it to Bangor, guys. Holy moly. Ten-hour grind emote. That's an awesome emote, man. It's awesome. Is that a cat? It's dabbing. <laughs> That's wrong on so many levels, Pentagon. Chowda. Um, one, uh, one and, uh, we're having some issues with our EFMC for a second. We're flying out a vector for now. Chowda 169, Boston Center, flying uh, 050. Climb and maintain, flight of a 190. 
That's a fun little uh, that's a fun little airport right down there, that Portland jet port. Neat approach, especially if you can come in over the bay. It's a neat little approach. This is a this is really a neat area in general. Up this coastline, lots of cool, lots of cool smaller airports and like a bucket load, and I mean a bucket load of seaport seaplane bases. It's just nothing but water up here. It's crazy. Crazy. Pixie's got me, or uh, a point uh, three four's got me. See if I see you. My rendering distance is atrocious. Yeah. No idea where you're at, but I trust you. Back there. Oh, you heard yourself on your stream back there with approach. Okay, cool. Very nice. Number four, four, Papa Tango, wind three five zero six one eight six, clear to land. Clear to land six four. Fifty five coming up on my right. All right, very cool. Very cool. You're on uh, Portland approach now, Fixie. Awesome. Delta 99, descend via the Roebuck 3 arrival. Runway nice hanging out, you guys. Altimeter 2996. 2996, runway 27, descend via the Roebuck 3, Delta 99. FedEx 3016, cross uh, news at and maintain. Syntax errors are the worst, down when Sim says, because he's still working on the uh, Carinado. Caravan 206B. You know what I just did today? Well, yesterday? Down when simulations? I downloaded there's a there's a caravan improvement mod over in uh, Fussy Pants. It's supposed to make that plane pretty good. I downloaded that and I'm gonna mess around with that for a little high wing, another high wing option. I understand the Twin Otter is coming out, the Aerosoft Twin Otter for a Microsoft Flight Sim as well. And people are already bashing the heck out of it. <laughs> like, and, and Aerosoft is usually pretty doggone good, man. Uh, that's a great question, Ralph. I don't know. I'll have to dig into it more deeply. All I've done is drop the mod in the community f folder, and then I need to download the uh, working title G1000, because I, I guess that works really well with it also. So if I'm going to have a caravan, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trick it out, man. I'm going to make it AVO sexy. You are sporting the PT640. Yeah, I'll, I don't know, honestly, what, what it is. I bet the, do the documentation... Um, will tell me. Yeah, cargo fire. So I'm hearing from various people little things like, uh, well, mostly what I'm hearing is the sounds are horrendous. But I'm also hearing some some uh, things like maybe the propellers don't. Uh, the pitch doesn't work in the propellers, and so, um, I don't know. I don't know. Some people don't like Aerosoft, though, and they'll find anything they can to, uh, to complain about, so. Delta 4235, Delta 4235. thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. We're actually getting to the point where uh, any of these dudes could be our boy. So what I think I may do is descend to a buck and a half here and see if we can 
maybe we have a look. It always takes me a little while, but I've I've had good luck finding the the airport. Four Papa Tango, are you too busy for us to shoot a mist and divert? No, we can do that. Okay, we'll just plan to shoot the mist for Four Papa Tango, and then we would like to go to Chatham. Okay, Four Four Papa Tango, runway six clear for the option. Chatham. On the go, runway heading two thousand. Runway heading on the go two thousand for Papa Tango. Cargo Flyer's talking about that X-Plane Twin Otter that uh, Dowin Sim has messed around with with that Anthony mod. Yep. The great thing about the mod that Good fit, or that uh, Dalwin Sim is talking about, by the way, Cargo Fire, is you only need an undergraduate degree in C++ to uh, be able to install it. Or is it Python? Python, okay, thank you. Thank you, Ralphie. Okay, so that is about the size of the island that we're looking for, you guys. That's clearly not the island. Again, the island that we're looking for will have an, a dirt airstrip that cuts right through the middle, and it'll have a seaport on one side. Excuse me. So we'll just keep our eyes peeled here. It'll be... I don't know if it's one of these in this part or if we're, might not quite be Booth Bay Harbor just yet. But, uh. Dixie's heard that Python's actually not too bad to learn as far as programming goes. Down one sim is an inch deep. Or an inch deep and, a, and an inch wide. <laughs> Pentagon confirms that uh, Python's not too bad, huh? JavaScript, my nemesis. Oh, Pentagon, that's what he does uh, for a living. Oh, way cool. Almost down where we need to be here. 1,500 is what I'm looking for. And I'm thinking, since we're not seeing our our island out here that we must be right across the way here. Guessing that we are guessing that we are right now in this might be a small point beach coming up. In the ba these might have been the Bailey Islands that we just went by potentially which would mean that the Brunswick Executive Airport would be up here but it's too far away to have a visual. But there's some more more targets out here. We'll keep looking, and we'll find it eventually. Fixie, this is the uh, the old the old 172. Still a great airplane. I I want to put the sound pack in that um, FT Sim made for it though. The new one has the G1000. Yeah, it's all glass. It's glassy McGlass face. So and it's 50 bones. I'm like like yeah, I like I like Cessnas like as much as the next guy, but holy moly. Five oh, I don't know. Who do they think they are? Just flight? Just flight's pricing model is to take their base price and add twenty dollars to it. No matter what it costs, add twenty. Okay. 
One of these times I come out here, I'm going to actually have some sort of a better, like a landmark that I work off of here. I don't think this is our island. It's about the right size, though. It's the Challenger of High Wing GA. And, well, and I, you know, I, I'm i an Airfoil Labs fan. I really am. Um, because they do, they do, they go above and beyond, and they they model some systems, they model failures, and and uh, yeah, they they do a nice job, and, and like just with the uh, like the fuel injected start, you know, that's that's a nice touch. Fly over this island just to make sure. A few others to look at here, don't we? Might still be a little ways out, guys. Yeah, that's this is not our. This is not. This is not the droid we're looking for. This is not the island we're looking for. Credit card must come through. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do that, you guys. Don't you, don't put it on the plastic, man. Save, save your pennies. It'll still be there. Yeah, this is a cool little island, but it's not our island. Them's my shoes is here. Hey, Kevin, how are you, buddy? An attempt to do something? No, I can't, I can't, uh... Give a skull with track IR on. I don't think it'll work. There we go. Chatter How are you, buddy? Happy Thursday. I have a friend that calls it Friday, the uh, the gateway to the weekend. If we're patient, we can get it on sale in three years like the TBM. <laughs> no, but, you know, I mean, uh, it doesn't take much to... You put twenty bucks away every paycheck. It doesn't take much to get that to get that baby no. saved up for. Oh, you have a credit card. Oh, you have reward points you're going to use so that you don't feel like you're spending real money. Ah, I got you. I got you. All right. Well, that's a that's a different story. But yes, I uh, don't advocate ringing up debt to buy to buy add-ons. Well, all right, we've got our next uh, set of islands here. And, uh, Kevin, we're looking for the heron's nest, by the way. Beautiful eye blue yonder creation. Our friend Bill Womack, who I think is now working full-time for Orbix, if I'm uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and, and uh, people bust on me. They give me a hard time for the amount of money that I spend on my flight simulation hobby, but uh, I try to make sure that uh, I try to make sure it's stuff that I've saved for and not uh, not something I'm having to go into debt to uh, to acquire. Well, and and I completely agree with that Pentagon. I think the amount we use any of them, like even if you got if you picked up the Challenger, and you have Sticker Shock initially because it's $120, but um, you know, I won't go back down that rabbit hole. But there's a, a lot of things that you do during the course of of the day or the week or the weekend or whatever, where Hundred and twenty dollars comes and goes and it's a one time event or a one time whatever and uh it's gone and you, if you want it again you have to spend another hundred and twenty dollars. So at least if you pick up an add on, you can enjoy that as often as you want. But I've I've made that uh, argument 
already a few times. Okay, I see our island, and it looks weird. It looks weird. What is going on with my trees? By the way, we're going to try to land to the north, because that was the prevailing wind, was uh, to, favoring a north approach. But you can see see the little uh, the sea lane there? But look at our trees. They look weird. Ah, uh, finally on the way. Good deal, Skull, buddy. I toss you an ale horn salute. And I owe you another one for that one. Uh, just the trees look just a little different. So, all right. Um, Harris Nest traffic. Skyhawk 11816 is a mile south of the field. We're going to uh, overfly at 1,500 and make left-hand traffic landing back to the northeast. I'll give you the full view of it here, but just a neat little, like, no reason, no reason to put this out here, but uh, he did anyway. And is it trying to... Is it trying to give me winter trees, or what's the deal there? I don't know. Definitely a lighter shade, and I don't remember it being that way. I don't know if maybe Sam Seasons has kicked in and tried to give me some uh, winter trees or something. I don't know, but... I mean, look at that sucker. Rocky crags and just a neat-looking island. Freaking love it. Usually I land the other way. Usually I'm like on the I'm on the left hand down one usually, but I'm gonna come all the way around and land the other way. I think like I say the wind favors that. Aaron's nest traffic. Skyhawk 816 on the left hand crosswind for uh, the uh, northeast departure, northeast runway. Aaron's nest. So here you go. And again, this is a free, free downwear, uh, free downwear, free download. Somebody had shared the iBlue Yonder link a little while ago. So you can... <laughs> can almost guarantee I'm going to mess something up. At Heron's Nest traffic, Skyhawk 816 on the left hand downwind, landing back to the northeast. Heron's Nest. Okay, how are we doing here? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. To get back into flaps range here, so let me cut some power. Keep sight with the runway. Drive, Sarah, Alpha Hotel, Delta, contact Boston, approach 118.25. Good night. I can start the descent here. Have a great night, Joseph. I'd like to take care of him. Talk Club 899, maintain 250 knots. Here's this traffic, Skyhawk 816, left base, landing northeast. Here's this traffic. I think the airport elevation here is about 200 feet, if I'm not mistaken. I don't want to get too low too quick. Always gets me here. It's not a sea level deal. First notch of flaps. Here's Nest traffic. Skyhawk 816 turning final for the northeast runway. Here's Nest traffic. Alright, boys and girls, here we go. Not a horrible rollout, honestly.
Second notch coming in. About 100 above right now. And I'll notch your flaps. A little quick. Ooh, a little bit of a side breeze there. Oh, house. That's the slope. That's the slope. Oh, boy. Right, we're down. Heavy braking. Don't have a lot of room here. Come on, girl. Let's get you stopped. Please stop. 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 Up, up. We're done for. Uh, no. I think we're toast. I think we're toast. Oh, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So, yeah, that's the moral of the story with this this airstrip is you have to, have to, have to get get her stopped on the upslope. <laughs> We're good. We're so good. Let me come down here and show you the, uh, show you the hangar. Yeah, that was not my best landing there. What a safe, yeah. That was uh, that was how not to do it. However, yeah, we're down. What the heck? It's a challenging little airstrip, though. I mean, um, I was definitely, as you could see, I was definitely too fast, and uh, you really do have to you have to be able to put that sucker down just right as soon as you can. And and honestly, it's not one that you try to butter in there. I tried to butter it a little bit. Actually, I tried to flare it out to try to get a little bit of airspeed off. But as as you saw, the result was I floated and I should have just uh, went uh, went missed. But anyway, here it is. Heron's Nest. Beautiful, scenic Heron's Nest. Nice little place. So it's got, um, take you over here, it's got the uh, C, C plane base, and you can actually pull in there, it, it'll let you come in there and, and anchor up if you want, um, kind of cool, and it does have the lighted seaport, so it, if you come here at night, you can, you can land, I mean, legally land here at this made-up fake airport. <laughs> and then we've got let's see let's work around the island here i like what he's done with the rocks and stuff the texturing on the rocks is really neat um i don't know if it has i don't think it has anything down on this end per se oh no, i don't think it does just the uh just the x's that one of them i broke out i have to come back and fix that on my next trip Let's see what anything over here. No, the uh, the FSX version, the P3D version has something up on the yeah. Like oh, one, I'm sorry, this one does too. So it's got like a little. Well, I, I definitely landed into the wind, didn't I? That would have helped also. I should have taken a look at that. B trees and X America just don't get along. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Anyway, so there's another helpful hint about the uh, airstrip. Check the uh, check the check the windmill. So so we're going to depart against the wind also. Tailwind departure. So it's a win-win. What trees do I use? Um, that's a great question. Looking right now.
Walker 680, fighting 030, vector to sequencing. Fighting 030, Walker 680. Trees, Walker trees, trees. Trees, trees, trees. What do I use? It's a freeware. I did buy a payware um, tree add on and it, it conflicted with Alaska. So I took it out. Um, Downwind Sim, what do we use? You know, because you have the same one. I'm not finding it right off the top of my head, Pentagon. Let me let me, uh, let me look for it and I'll message you. U.S. Forest, thank you. LMNP, QRS, T, U.S. Forest. Yeah, there it is. U.S. Dash Forests. But this is this is part of the, yeah, this is part of the uh, scenery. So, yeah, and I don't think the U.S. Forest is uh, payware. Let's do the landing here again. Okay, absolutely. How about we take off and try to come back in and do it the right way? What do you guys say? So we'll depart. Let's depart back. Uh, we'll we'll uh, back taxi here. We'll depart the right way. We'll fly a pattern. And we'll try it again here. Talk me into it down one soon. This is the preferable way to land, I think, because it has a longer upslope. Please come cut the grass. So let's uh, slow down because we don't want to go right off the end of the runway again here. The gift of entertainment that keeps on giving. <laughs> yeah, what's the. Where's the challenge in landing at Bangor, right? Let's uh, come out here, baby. All right, all right, you scurvy dogs. Let's do this. Notch of flaps. Let's uh, let's set the heading bug here so that we lined up. And uh, so we're going to call this runway uh, what two two one two two. Okay. Eagles Nest traffic. Skyhawk eight sixteen is departing runway two one. We're going to stay in the pattern left hand pattern uh, to come back and uh, land full stop runway two one. Takes a minute, but once we get on the downhill slope, we should be okay. Piece of cake, baby. Piece of cake. There's this traffic. Skyhawk 816, left crosswind, runway 21. Heron's Nest traffic. I know, you're supposed to climb to 1,000 before you start the turnout. I know, I know, I know. Here's Nest traffic. Skyhawk 816 is on the left hand downwind runway 21. Heron's Club. Heron's Nest. Heron's Club. <laughs> Where are we? Somebody push the follow button. I'll I'll uh, say hey here in just a second. But I'm trying to make another horrible horrible approach into Heron's Nest. I have a notch of flaps in. I just left them in here. 
We're going to just try to hold right here. We're approximately, oh, I would say six or 700 feet. It's a uh, J.O. Aviox, Aviox. J.O. Aviox. I probably mispronounced uh, that, but welcome. If you're here just in time for another adventurous landing. This one, there's no way for it not to be a clunker because of that hill. So just be prepared, everybody. Tighten up your uh, your back straps. Heron's Club. Heron's Club. Heron's Nest Traffic. Skyhawk 816 is on the left. Base runway 21. Heron's Nest. Oh. Close. We're kind of using this island out in front of us as a that guy right there is a place to turn. Talk up 74, turn right heading 170, back up to sequencing. Turn right heading 170. Some speed off of here. Heron's Nest traffic, Skyhawk 816 is turning final runway 21. Heron's Nest traffic. Chapel 1750, contact Bangor approach, 118.902, good night. Bangor approach, good night, Chapel 1750. Overcooked it a little bit, but not too bad. Second notch is in. Speed's looking much better this time. And we'll go flaps full. Just a smidgen high, though. Let's see if we can lose a little altitude. Slip it a little if I have to, but I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, this is looking much better. Much better. Plus, all the drag from the uh, the pine boughs that I brought in with me on the last landing helps. Row. Yeah, that was a little better. Speed management helped, and uh, certainly, certainly a little bit better on the glide slope as well. So, hey, that was much. Yeah, thank you very much. Alright, well, we'll turn it. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to take a take a downwind. No, I better not. I better not push it. <laughs> I better back taxi and try to do this right. Before we do that, though, I need to check my map and see exactly where I need to go. No, I didn't. It's not on there. I promise. Downwind sim. All right. What with Jo? Did I say hi to Jo Avix? Welcome. Great to see you. And uh, this is what we do here. We kind of do questionable things in general aviation aircraft. Again, this is the Heron's Nest. It's a freeware add-on from uh, the guys at iBlue Yonder. Go do a little search for it. You'll find it. Free download. Cool little spot if you're ever up here in uh, the Bangor Bar Harbor area. Tour of the Explorer on the map. That's what I need, huh? We watched our fair share of Dora the Explorer when the kids were growing up. Boy, I could barely make it over that hill. And you don't want to go too fast down this hill either, or as you saw, um, you'll just keep going. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if I had some actual damage to the aircraft because of that little uh, excursion, that little side excursion. Okay. Parking brake is set. I cleaned up. I am. Next notch is set. Now we'll go to the map. Alright, so um, again, where did I end up? I ended up down here 
somewhere. Not 100% sure, but so down here somewhere. Yeah. So, it uh, looks to me like a... Uh, I'm not going to worry about going to Augusta. Let's uh, let's get rid of that. Let's just we're going to go. St uh, not going to worry about that. Not going to worry about this. We're just going to go straight to Bangor. I think we can kind of fly right up the harbor here. Yeah. So how about we? Let's depart. Let's come up to Penobscot Bay. We'll, we'll look for Knox County Regional. That'll be uh, that'll be kind of our our waypoint here and uh, then we'll just hop uh, head up Penobscot Bay when we get kind of up here by Belfast or so Bucksport we'll make a contact we'll come in here full stop landing they are winds are calm so I don't know what they'll give us but uh, we'll be prepared either way what's the traffic patterns just in case um, looks like a uh, doesn't say so left hand pattern nope yeah left hand pattern to runway 33 all right, so we'll kind of expect that. Yeah, we'll kind of expect that. All right, I'm going to do this real quick. Um, hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Dora constantly traipsed around the territory was that was clearly mapped. Her friend was literally a map. <laughs> Not much of an explorer. All right, give me a second, guys. I need to uh, see the little bush pilot's room. I'll be right back. I'm at your 9 o'clock up in the sky. Stay out of my way. Okay, Mr. Valkyrie. As you wish. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. So, um, flaps are set. And I might go two notches of flaps on this one, to be honest. We were kind of close on the last one. Um, so we are going to... We're also going to help ourselves out with the Bangor VOR, which is 114.8, which is what we're tuned into. Cool. Um, although we're not picking it up here, so I'm not going to worry too much about that until we're getting a little closer. Yep, not picking it up quite yet. All right. Let's go flying, guys. Barely make it up the hill, but then we get going at the top here. Should be able to rotate bottom of the green with two notches of flaps. Uh, yeah, we could try that. 
Okay, up, up, and away. It's coming out. Alright, we'll see you later, Heron's Nest. As always, it's been a blast. Sorry for the adjustment there, you guys. Somebody give me a exclamation point with you. It was right there. It was right there. Come on. Exclamation point with you. Come on. Somebody. Somebody. Thank you. Choo, 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 choo. Pentagon. My amigo. Mi amigo. There we go. Man, that's beautiful, isn't it? Sometimes uh, Mr. Skyhawk is just exactly the way to go. All right, so north we go again, kind of up the up the coastline here. Flaps are up. Mixture is back just a little bit here. I don't really need to bring the mixture back, honestly, but. What we're doing is we're going to fly up this coastline. We're going to look for Knox County. And uh, at Knox County, then we know it's just about time to turn up Penobscot Bay. And with any luck, we'll, uh, we'll pick up the pick up the Bangor VOR as well. I'm a little surprised we don't have that. We're only about 60 miles out. Fourteen eighty. Yep, that's the right. Uh, that's the right freak. And we do need to get back up to one thousand, or sorry, three thousand five hundred, because some of the MSEs are one six one eight. So you know, we're not legal at one thousand five hundred. So I will, f I will climb. I'll play your little game, Trebek. Although if you take a look, we've got some low clouds here that. Um, might be a factor. Ah, drama. Some drama. I like it. There we go. There's our VOR. Well, I'm starting to like my track IR more and more as I use it. I'm still kind of awkward with it in uh, many regards, but um, it, it has its merits. That's what we're going to want, 1892. So I think we're going to do this. We're going to stop monitoring Sheed and tune in here and try to make our call. We're 60-some miles out. So, you know, like I said, when we get right around that 20-mile range, we can uh, request our... Just our uh, permission to enter the airspace, and hopefully we'll uh, get that without any trouble. I don't imagine there's going to be any trouble, but uh, you never know. Approach, Solaris, 25, 90, information, Charlie, at 1, 
High VOR. I don't know what that is. Three point three two uh, degree glide there. Yeah, should be fun. Good luck, Kenny. Let us know how it turns out, man. Do about these clouds. I think I'm going to have to descend. So, just going to have to kind of work it out with. Uh, so we're, if we stay up the bay, I actually think we're okay. 1,300 is the MSC. Well, it's kind of split on one side. On the on the west side, it's 1,800. On the east side, it's 1,300. So, I think we're going to have to go down to stay visual, though. Oops, going a little fast here. November 9 or Alpha Lima, we have information, Charlie. And November 9 or Alpha Lima, Mango Approach, Mango Alpha Lima, 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 About zero eight zero. Or how am I doing? Not very good. Go. Okay, that's a little better. Pretty close. Pretty close. So there is no um, particular arrival into Bangor. There are some ILS and RNAV approaches. Of course, you heard Kenny Monster requesting the VOR, the high VOR approach. But I think we're going to be okay just uh, visual. If we need it, it's a left-hand pattern to runway 33. But uh, perhaps we'll get the straight in depending on traffic. Ah, trim wheel. What did I do without you? I used to use electric trim like a common man, like a some sort of commoner. Got to be getting close to Knox here. I hope I haven't overshot it. So as I'm looking at this thing, we would be, be traveling at a 0, 0.30. 0. Let's just set that up as if it was uh, if 
We're just trying to intercept that baby. Oh, we've, uh, we maybe are, oh, we're not quite there, I guess. Not quite there. Let's see, though. Each of these communities have some sort of uh, like, like harbor system or docking system, and like if you just look even at the sectional, there are so many seaplane bases around here. This would be a great place to have a seaplane event, but you want to talk about navigational challenge? I mean, look at all those lakes and inlets and riverways and I mean like how the heck would you find anything you were looking for unless you just absolutely were super familiar with the area oh burning up my brakes but made it off at taxiway kilo ah very nice very nice taxiway kilo let's take a look see at, uh, at what that is Oh, holy guacamole. <laughs> um, uh, uh, okay, so that that's about, what, um, a thousand feet? No, probably a little more than that. That's good, though, because you're going back to the GA, so you save, you know, what you, what you, uh, what you spend in brake pads, you just saved in fuel, so that's good. <laughs> okay, you guys. Um, thinking maybe this next bay is our bay. Minimum approach altitude to start this procedure is 12,000 slurs, 2590. So I'm not clear to do the. Had a guy on about a five mile final right after me he was going to squeeze the departure out before, so you got out of the way. Yeah, nice. Hey, there's our friend Rob Valkyrie. He's checking in. And, uh, yeah, he's a little ahead of us, but glad he got going and is having fun. Apparently, I've missed Knox County. Knox County? How do I miss Knox County? It's right on the... It's right on the edge here. Yeah, we'll keep our... We just maybe aren't quite there yet. There's Knox right there. Shoot, they're going to have Kenny hold a little bit while they sort out the traffic here for him to work that, that high ILS. Knox County is another one of those airports. It's kind of a neat one. It's sort of carved out of the forest here and in a, quite a scenic location, obviously. But uh, for us, what it represents is the mouth of Penobscot Bay. And we'll start heading up inland here and uh, 
make our way towards Bangor. Kind of a cool spot. I think I just have a default scenery too, so it's. I think it looks pretty nice, honestly. Yeah, with those trees there, maybe I don't. Maybe I have a little bit of a of a like a ORG upgraded, slightly upgraded. Uh, Scenery pack. Hard till him. Right, uh, one three zero to send a maintain six thousand one five eight. Good evening, uh Bango on approach. In November one one nine one uh two one three is descending to one one thousand. Uh, we have information, Charlie, and uh, expect, uh, expect runway 33 left approach on uh, November 11913. Runway 33, right away. Runway 33, November 11913. Then go approach, helicopter 254 with Ski Romeo. Helicopter 254 with Ski Romeo. First Chrome is about 4718 miles south of the airport, inbound to land with Charlie. Hi, Captain. Four minutes, keep on the air, remain outside, class Charlie, airspace going 2442. 2442, remain outside, four whiskey Romeo. And we also have Charlie. Let's take, uh, take a look at that. What do we have here? Oh, Charlie, it's uh, winds are calm, 10 statute miles feet at 2,500, 299 or 3. So go ahead and set that. Kind of already there. And uh, ILS approach 33 is in use. Okay, so I guess you're going to want us on that. We'll dial that ILS 33 in. All right. Hang on for just a second. Autopilot heading altitude hold. Let's just. Uh... All right, so I'm looking here in ILS runway 33. We're not going to do that high VOR stuff. We're just going to try to come straight in. 109 or 5. And approach course is 330. Let's just make sure everything is lined up here like it should be. So this right now is sitting on about a uh, zero, almost right at 050, I'd say. And uh, that's not where we're at here. So 050. Slight correction. Okay, now we're a little bit, uh, hopefully a little bit better. All right, and we're heading up Penobscot Bay right now. Um, see how close we are here to 030. Yeah, I can, I can live with that. And what I say, uh, 330 on the approach course. Okay. 
approach here, although it's still going to be a couple minutes, turn left heading 300 and expect to intercept the bank. Yeah, we might be pretty close to being right behind Kenny. Maybe we'll get to kind of see what he does. It'd be pretty cool. I'm sure the Cirrus prices, their brakes modestly, like all the avionics companies. Yeah, no doubt about it. Lined with gold or whatever, gold plated. Ah, the downwind sim back scratcher. Man, it's a lifesaver. I'm going to check in at about 30 miles here. Good evening, Bangor Departure, November 737 Mike Tango with you at uh, 3000. November 737 Mike Tango, Bangor Departure, radar contact, uh, turn left direct AJ. Hey, can I get a piece of on my call one more time? Number 737 Mike Tango, Bangor Departure, radar contact, turn left direct AJ. Turn direct heading uh, Bravo Gulf Romeo, uh, something like Tango. Never said anything negative. Uh, they've got you rooted via AJ Ocean 5, and so I'm having you go direct to AJ. Is that what you see as well, or do you have something different? Number 7, Mike Tango, what is the first waypoint that you have in your flight plan? Hold on, sorry, 7, Mike Tango, you were very quiet, we have to turn you up. Could you, could you repeat my call? Yeah, November 7, Mike Tango, what is the first waypoint that you see in your flight plan? Yeah, first uh, waypoint we're seeing is uh, uh, Bravo Go for a meal. And what's the next one after that? After that, AJ. Go direct AJ. Direct AJ for uh, 7, Mike Tango. Bangor approach, uh, November 11816. November 11816, Bangor. Yes, sir. Uh, 30 to the south of the field, 1500. Uh, inbound uh, requesting Charlie transition, uh, excuse me, uh, permission into Charlie full stop at Bangor. November 816, squawk 2454. 2454, November 816. Already squawking ALT. Yep, I'm going to have to call it, I think, after this. Uh, going to have to call it after this landing, I think. It's getting just a hair too late to make a return trip down. So... Um, Appreciate you guys hanging out, though, and uh, like I say, Rob, Kenny, um, Fixie, Pentagon, it's really cool to hear you guys. Really cool to hear you guys on the comms. Oops, I just bumped my track IR probably off. A little off. Center that. A little bit of a, like a little golf course or something down there, but like only about, maybe like a nine hole. Cool. There's a little airfield. Looking at for that. Let me uh, center it here. 
that's got to be heading up here. That's got to be uh, Belfast Municipal. So Isleboro will be right over here. We may not see it too far away. So we've not been cleared to enter the uh, airspace yet, by the way. So we have to maybe hold down here if we. Runway 33, November 11816. Number 9013, turn left heading 360, short back there for delay, waiting on uh, an airplane on the southeast side of the field. I'll have more for you in a couple minutes. And November 9013, descend at 186,000. I'll turn left heading 1, sorry, uh, could you repeat? Yes, November 9013, turn left heading uh, 010, and also you can expect the visual approach runway 33. Um, turn left heading zero one zero, and that is that will show approach on the one with three three November one one nine one three. Fourteen eighty. Let me pop over here. Let me make sure that we're coming in the way we should be. On about a zero two five, that takes us right towards the VOR, which is more or less, more or less Hello, where we want to go. So we're we're actually aiming slightly right of the VOR, which honestly should put us in a little bit better position to uh, intercept the runway 33. So, all right, I'm looking back at the Simhaven X Europe uh, 5, and I'm just wondering, again, is it... Uh, it looks like freeware. Is it... I, I'm just wanting to see if it's like... Like, how good is it? It has the Alps region, Northern Germany, UK, Ireland, Norway, Scandinavia, Greece, the Mediterranean. Um, has anybody? Uh, Departure 46 Lima Golf. Has Bravo, anybody downloaded it? 5, climbing to you. Really interested to see like what it does. X Europe is free and it is good. So you, do you just uh, just grab you just grab everything out of this one, huh? Okay, yeah, let's do it. Hmm, <coughs> we're gonna start the download. So then all you have to do is uh, make sure that you that you turn on your um, I want to hit this hill. You want to make sure that you, that you turn on that section of the world when you load up X-Plane, right? So the, otherwise you just have like uh, like water everywhere, if I understand correctly. And uh, then you're good to go. Is that You don't even use ortho, overlays from your ortho anymore? Oh, okay. Really? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check it out, I think. Like I said, I, I just discovered kind of by accident that I have a few... A few airports over in the UK, Ireland, uh, you know, area, and I thought, ah, what the heck, man? I mean, it's fun to fly over there in Microsoft Flight Sim and all, but it's uh, it's kind of cool that that maybe I can do some cross the pond stuff. I don't know. Biggest problem I've had with X America trees is it doesn't get along with the V tr trees. Ah. V tree is usually so much better. You have to turn off those trees from X America. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll use this X Europe as a little bit of a test then, and and see. Like I say, it means I'm going to have to turn on some more regions though, and I don't have have all those <laughs> kind of. We have those lined up just yet, but that's okay. He's in there somewhere. 
There's Rob. He's out ahead. There we are. There's Solaris 2590. Tim on the ground. One two four point five and uh, one two four point on the window one one nine one three good night. Number eight one six contact Bangor approach one two four point five. Twenty four point five November eight one six. November 119013 is descending to 3000. November 119013, Bangor approach, good evening. November 119013, good evening, descend and maintain 2500. Descend and maintain 2500, November 119013. November 119013, turn right heading 040. Turn right heading 040. Approach, good evening, November 11816, 1500. November 11816, Bangor Approach, good evening. Traffic is at your 3 o'clock and 2 miles, altitude 3300. Uh, report them inside, TBM, report them inside. Yeah, we're looking for that traffic, 11816. We've got the train. That's not what he's talking about, though. A little bit uh, over me here. And a TBM, but close by, so two miles away. The heck would you be there, my dude? I'll be right over top of my wing here. Wait, nope, that was a piece of dirt on my screen. Downwind Sim, can you see him? No, he's on the other side. Do not see me. November 11816, uh, turn right heading 060 for now. I turn 060, November 11816. Yeah, I tell you and what. Uh, November 11816, uh, after turning 060, that traffic should be at your 12 o'clock in two miles. Okay, still looking for the traffic, 11816. All right, where the heck? Two miles, that should November be... November 11913, uh, the Bangor Airport is at your... 11 o'clock and 10 miles. Report the airport inside. Uh, November 11913 has the uh, airport inside. November 11913, make straight in, runway 33. Mm. Uh, clear to land, one, runway 33. No, nope. makes, yeah. I don't see him, guys. I don't. So he's got to be going uh, right to left, but boy, for the life of me, I do not see that guy. You guys see? You guys see him? Am I just missed? Am I dance or what? I just boy, I don't. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere. Ah, yeah. Uh, that traffic is now at your 12 to 1 o'clock altitude indicates 2,400. Yeah, still looking, uh, still looking 11816. November 11816, Roger, turn right heading 100. Right turn 100, 11816. Yeah, I don't know if it's just like a delay in, but yeah, I don't, I don't freaking see him. Like I, 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 I mean, where he's not even, he's not showing on Volanta. Last that's him heading out. No, that's Remember Kenny. One one nine or one three contact Bangor Tower one two zero point seven. Good day. Uh, one two zero point seven. Good day. Yeah. I do not see that guy. Turn left heading 060. Left turn 060, 11816. 
I don't know. You started getting ortho for Europe because you were trying to fly over there for a while, but now you don't uh, get across the puddle. Straight in runway 33, November 11816. Okay. So we're going to let, we're going to pick up the uh, the ILS here. We're going to pick up, we're on the, we're on the uh, left hand base leg right now, basically. But uh, you don't get across the puddle much anymore. You know, and Fixie, you know, uh, it's maybe uh, as much about hopping across like that as it is maybe just even being able to load up. Like I was thinking about flying from, uh, I was thinking about flying from London City up to like Belfast or something, you know, just something something simple like that, and uh, you know, just to, just to have a little bit of scenery would have uh, come in handy. Now that I've got some of those some of those aircraft, I mean, it's like uh, might as well make use of it. Yeah, it helps if you know how to uh, operate your aircraft. Uh, we're turning now, and uh, we've got the airfield inside, 11816. <laughs> no problem. November 11816. You can contact Bangor Tower now, 120.7. Have a good night. We're to Tower 2070, 11816. ADE, contact departure. Let's put ground in here while we uh, have it, 2190. Tower, hello, November 11816, inbound runway 33. Citation 890, Charlie Alpha, uh, runway 33, you'll line up and wait. Five the way, runway 33, citation 890, Charlie Alpha. Skyhawk 11816, Bangor Tower, runway 33, continue traffic to prior to your arrival. Continue runway 33, November 11816. We're a little off here, aren't we? 11913, exit right on Lima, contact ground 121. We're way off, actually. Exit right on contact ground on November 11916. Well, let's start getting. We uh, we had a problem. We we needed to disconnect. I'll call you back for another flight. Thank you so much. Try to here. get uh, speed down Thank a little bit no here. Worries. Thank you so much. And get lined up with this uh, runway Thank actually you. here. Zero, Alpha, fly runway heading, calm, well, I don't know what was going on there, but man, that localizer is a little bit off. I clear to land runway 33, November 11816. Traffic's rolling. Do I see the traffic rolling? And Bangor Tower Delta 44. Yep, there he goes. There he goes. Delta 40. 40 Bangor Tower, I uh, correct, hold short, runway 33. Try to keep hold speed up three, just three, a little four, bit 40. for this guy, but. You have to start pulling it back at some point, don't I? We could probably do a zero flaps uh, approach here. November 8, uh, Niner, zero, Charlie Alpha, contact departure, have a good day. Contact your departure, November 8, that's a try. You can put the word out, but y'all should do this event again. It's real fun. Do it monthly. I'll let them know. Thank you very much for your input. All right, uh, a little bit high, but not too bad. Long runway here, GA plane. We can be a little bit long if we need to, but we would try to get off at Kilo like our friend, good Brett, uh, hot brakes, good fixing Leonberger. See how we do. We're going zero flaps approach here. Delta 4040, uh, runway 33, line up and wait. 
Line up and wait, runway 33, Delta 4040. I think that was Kilo right there. Up oh, comes Kilo. Boy, I'm floating McFloat face here. Alright, we're not gonna make Kilo. We're not gonna make Kilo. It's alright. Next one. Right here. Now we were one past Kilo, I think, but uh, that's okay. November 11816, welcome to Bangor. Exit right on Lima. Contact ground 121.9. Right turn Lima and over to ground point niner. November 11816. Delta 4040, wind calm, fly runway heading, runway 33, clear for takeoff. And ground hello, November 11816. Uh, we're off 33 three in Lima, heading to the GA. November 11816, good evening, Bangor ground. Taxi to the terminal by Alpha Bravo today. Alpha Bravo, 11816. Okay, this is Alpha here. Almost positive. We're going to go with it. I think it is. That's what I saw. Just, uh, Ground unit 523 ready for taxi. Pull up the taxi chart. That might also help. United 523, where are you? Oh, you're right there. Runway 33, taxi via Lima Alpha. 33 via Lima Alpha, United 523. Oh, please, Mr. 737. Hang tight. Hang tight. I'll just go ahead and go. This is the uh, Kilo. So, no, that's not where we're going. We're going one more down here. American 915, monitor Boston. Correction, Bangor Tower, 120.7. Too much Boston controlling. <laughs> Monitor Tower, 20.7, uh, American 19, have a good night. Cleaning up the flaps. United 328, Monitor Bangor Tower, 120.7. There, I got it. Do need to leave the nav okay, lights okay. on here. APU start? No, just right. kidding. Just kidding. Here's Bravo. And we'll head to the uh, fanciest of FBOs, whatever we have over here. See if .34 is still over here. Any of our friends, we can go park next to them. Somebody over in that neck of the woods. Somebody's right over there, too. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Oh, there's all kinds of planes over here. Hmm. Mm hmm. I'm going to go park next to the red one. It's the prettiest. <laughs> Rob's over there, too. All right, man. It was a root beer float. That should be... That should be my next emote, is... Some kind of a float. Kind of been a floater lately. But it is, it's kind of, it, you know, it's kind of weird um, making a zero flaps landing. Like, that's just a different feeling, right? You just don't, uh, you don't lose the airspeed quite the same. You don't lose the lift quite the same. And it's just, it's just different. Almost sure this is some kind of a, TBM or something because I don't I just don't have the CSL but all right here we are everybody welcome to Bangor International Airport the conclusion of tonight's flight it's been a tremendous amount of fun we're going to go there avionics master off alternator off flaps are up lights are all off yep we can go ahead come back and uh, idle cut off battery off and turn the mags off and I'm just curious here 
what's the maintenance report say? Did I break anything on that first one? <laughs> um, no, everything here is still in the green. But if you do put it down too hard, it will uh, show wear and tear. Yeah, I guess brakes, yeah, brakes, tires, all those look okay. So, yeah, I guess we didn't uh, do too much damage there at the heron's nest, did we? So, uh, oh, did I pass you up there? <laughs> Rob, where you at? I, I didn't know. Heck, I didn't know. i got guys all over the place here. So let's hop out. Let's do a real quick, super ultra fast a couple of replays here. We'll check the Volanta touchdown report. And, uh, yeah, then we'll kind of call it a night. It's been a good one. Really thinking about bringing back these uh, Thursday night streams, you guys. I've just I've missed the streams, and I think it'd be a lot of fun. Some little GA, more GA stuff. I don't know. Would you be down for that? Is it too much, Melvin Leroy? I mean, I mean, like I know how it is. Like I'm kind of a kind of an acquired taste, and too much of the. Too much of a good thing is not always a good thing. No, Fixie, I did not. I, I had to go down to Lima. I went flaps zero to kind of keep my speed up because I had a 737 waiting on me. Traffic stuck on 990. Um, so I was a little, little bit, a little bit down there, a little, a little further than I kind of maybe could have been, but. I think in general, I'm just waiting to see. I was, uh, I just had so much energy, I just couldn't get it to land. Man, I was really, really, really right of center, too. Holy moly. Uh, I almost, I think I maybe touched the nose wheel down first. Oh boy, yeah, a lot, uh, a lot not to love about that one. Yeesh. Not as far right as I thought I was. Okay, that first view was a little misleading. Oh, no, I did end up drifting way to the right. Wow. Super, super floaty. Yeah, I do think I touched the <laughs> nose wheel down first, guys. Yep, whoops, sorry about that. It's the uh, downwind sim view here. Flare. Second flare. Third flare. Fourth flare and down. Yeah. Another D minus landing, but what the heck? Tower view. How do I look from the tower? Oh. Does this? Yep. I was down there a ways. I need to practice some of my flaps off landings. Boom. Need to do that a little bit more. A little bit more, I guess. All right. Uh, I like Thursday night streams. Uh, 10, 10 or 20 more flares uh, a week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you made it to Kilo and the Titan. Holy moly, Rob. That's a, that's impressive. Yeah, man. That's flipping awesome. Um, all right. Yeah. Well, I've, I, you know, obviously this week we did it just because we had, uh, we had this event, but, um, I, I do have, I did put an updated schedule out and it does include some Thursday night flights. Still haven't cleared it with the Mrs. First officer, but, uh, hopefully we'll get the, the green light. Well, I, I don't know, uh, if you guys are aware, but continuum has a uh, continuum has a a uh, copy of challenger so you know the i'm going to let you go over and and watch that if you want to i myself am going to send you guys though over to our controller extraordinaire friend mr jamashid loveless because he did a fantastic job tonight and I would like you guys to go over there and give him some raid emotes 
Um, so I'll have you guys ready, queued up and ready to go over to Sheet here in just a second. But first, before I do that, I'll tell you what I've got coming up. Speaking of stream schedules, the next flight is going to be the it's going to be the next episode, by the way, of the Bravo tour. It's going to be on Saturday. We'll start a little bit earlier. So instead of starting at about 6 o'clock, which is what we did tonight, I think that's 0100 Zulu. Um, we're going to start at 4 o'clock, so 2300 Zulu. And we're going to make it a triple play. We're going to go Houston Hobby to Orlando, then Orlando down to Key West, and then Key West back up to Hobby. And since there was a little bit of controversy about the voting last time, I'm actually going to help you out, and, uh, and we're going to do a... Um, uh, three different, all all three airplanes. We're going to do the, the Saab, we're going to do the uh, Q400, and we're going to do the BAE-146. So we're just going to rotate it up and go that route. Um, so that's what's coming up on Saturday, and then uh, we'll be back to our midweek streams. Uh, Tuesday, then, is going to be an episode of Cargo Melt, and we'll be in the A300. I haven't decided to wear it yet. Um, Thursday, another episode of International Melbourne back down there in the Australia, New Zealand, Tasmania area. And, uh, yeah, it should be a fun week. We'll see. We'll see how this Thursday stream stuff goes. And, uh, yeah, we'll just kind of play it by ear. So that's what I've got coming up. All right, you guys. Uh, just a couple of thank yous. We had uh, new follows by uh, JOAVX, uh, In a Box Man, and Energy Magic. So thank you so much, you guys. We'll see you all uh, later on. And did I... What happened here? Yeah, we're going. We're going to go raid Sheet. Have a great night, everybody. See you over there. God bless.